Hi, welcome back. Um, in this second tutorial, we're going to be talking about accessing AutoCAD commands and opening uh, existing drawing files and saving your work as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, traditionally, AutoCAD has three different ways to access just about every command that AutoCAD offers. Uh, the first way is through these draw or these pull down menus up here at the top. This is the draw pull down menu. If I wanted to start the line command, uh, probably the most basic command in AutoCAD. Now I can go to my draw pull down, click on the line command, and it's going to start my line command. Now, don't worry about the clicks that I'm making and things like that. Uh, we'll move into that a little bit later. Uh, the other way to access that same line command would be to use one of the toolbars. Now, the line command here is located on the draw toolbar over here on the left. And again, remember, I'm in the AutoCAD Classic uh, workspace, okay? And make sure you're there because it'd be a lot easier to access some of the same commands that I'm accessing. If you don't see this toolbar here, just go to your tools, workspaces, and click AutoCAD Classic, okay? With the AutoCAD Classic um, workspace up, uh, my draw toolbar is going to be over here on the left if I haven't moved it, and my line command is going to be right there. So if I wanted to start the line command, I can click that button, and it's going to start the same line command. Okay. The third way, uh, in fact the most traditional way to uh, start commands in AutoCAD is by just typing them in. And down here at the bottom is your command line, and you're going to become very familiar with this. Um, notice down here, the very last line, it says command. Well, and there's nothing beyond that. Well, what that did, what that is, is that's telling me I have a blank command prompt. And what that's telling me is that AutoCAD is ready for me to enter a command. So, if I want to, I can type in L-I-N-E, and I can hit my Enter key, and it's going to start that exact same line command. Okay? Now, um, when I hit Enter, I've got a couple of different ways to hit Enter in AutoCAD. Just like there's various ways to access commands, there's various ways to hit the Enter key. Um, if I type in L-I-N-E, I can hit the Enter key on my keyboard. That's one way to hit Enter or tell AutoCAD that, you know, this is what I want you to do or this is, this is, uh, this is the command that I want you to uh, initiate. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can hit the space bar. That also is just like hitting the Enter key on your keyboard. And the third way is by hitting your middle finger button. Oops. L-I-N-E, my middle finger button, and it's going to start my line command as well. Okay. Whenever you're in a command and you want to get out of it and back to a blank command prompt, what you need to do is hit the escape key on your keyboard. Now, I always tell people when you're getting, when you're learning AutoCAD and you're getting used to hitting that escape key, just get in the habit of hitting it two or three times. What that does is that makes sure that you're completely out of any command and you're banked back to a blank command prompt. Okay very important because if you're in the middle of a circle command for example and you want to start a line command well it's not going to work unless you hit escape and get back to a blank command prompt now if you're using your toolbars and you click on line it will cancel it and start the line command but as far as typing in commands you do have to hit escape and get back to a blank command prompt and again, if you're in a command, not sure where you are, you're a little lost, uh, want to get back to a blank command prompt, hit escape a couple times, and uh, that'll get you right there. So that's three ways to access most commands in AutoCAD. Pull down menus, toolbars, and simply by typing it in. Okay? Now, opening drawings. If you go to the File pull-down menu, you can click on the Open button, or you can go to your toolbar here, and you can click on Open. Either one of those are going to bring up the Open dialog box, in which case you can navigate through your directories, uh, find the drawing that you want to open, click on Open, and there you go. Okay? Just like other Windows-based programs. Um, once you're finished drawing your whatever it is that you're drawing and you want to save, you can click on the file menu, click on save, and it's going to bring up a dialog box, ask you where you want to save it, what you want to call it. You click on save, and I'm going to click cancel, and there you go. So pretty simple, again, very much like other Windows-based products. So if you've been using Windows for very long at all, um, you'll be used to a lot of 
of these basic commands. Now, obviously the AutoCAD commands are a little bit different, and we'll talk about those as well. That's it for this tutorial. This is a short one. Um, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is get into the AutoCAD Cartesian coordinate workspace, um, at drawing lines, uh, erasing lines, and maybe some other basic AutoCAD commands. So, until next time, I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.